Hi, the Mud Broker here. Today I'm going to show you how to use a vinegar bath to remove rust from cast iron. First of all, you'll need something rusty made out of cast iron. You can do this with steel objects too. But anyway, I got a rusty cast iron pot here. It's a small one, there's no maker's marks on it. I don't think it's all that old really. But it's still a nice old pot and it's worthwhile to clean it up. What you'll need for this is the object you want to clean, of course, and vinegar. Just the cheapest white distilled vinegar you can find, as long as it's 5% acidity at least. We're going to mix up a vinegar bath, put this pot in it, and wait a few days and see what happens. If you use the stronger cleaning vinegar, that's okay too. It might go a little bit faster, but it doesn't make that much of a difference. Before we start, I'm going to take the handle off. This isn't the original handle. It's just a bent up piece of wire somebody put on there. Take that handle off of there. And I'm going to give this a quick scrubbing to knock some of the loose stuff off it. And then I'll be right back and we'll mix up our bath. Alright, I gave this a quick washing. Got the loose stuff off of it. Some areas are fairly lightly rusted. It's fairly lightly surface rust. But some areas got some pretty hard rust and that might be a little bit pitted underneath. And on the inside you can see there's a good bit more rust. Vinegar works great for removing rust, but it will not touch burnt on, baked on buildup like this. For this you need something like oven cleaner or lye. But oven cleaner and lye, well they'll take this stuff right off, they won't touch rust. So if you have something that's both rusty and covered with crud, first clean it up with oven cleaner or lye to get the crud off and then use a vinegar bath to get the rust off. You can also use electrolysis which does both at the same time but this video ain't about that. Anyhow, we got our pot. What you'll need is some kind of container. A plastic bucket or a plastic tote like this is really handy. And you just put your object in there and you give it a 50-50 mix of vinegar and water. Let me get my water. I'm using just tap water. This isn't actually bottled water, but you don't have to use bottled water. Tap water is just fine. And you want to mix up enough solution to cover your object and splash all over the place at the same time. And I've got another half a gallon of vinegar right here, and another gallon of water, and we'll see if that's enough. That's a little more than a half a gallon of vinegar. That's almost enough to cover it, so by the time I add the water to dilute it, we should be covered. Now how long this will take will depend on how rusty it is. So some areas, areas of this will come pretty clean pretty quickly, but other areas will take longer. What I'm going to do is throw my cover on it as soon as I can find it and let this sit overnight come back tomorrow morning and see what we got okay it's the next day this has been soaking for about 16 hours and you can see that it's fizzing away nicely and hopefully you can see it even though it's getting cloudy some of the big flakes of rust have flaked off and fallen to the bottom these little totes work great for this sort of thing because you can lock the lids down and keep the kids and critters out of them. You see it's fizzing away nicely inside. I'm going to leave this sit until tomorrow now before I take it out and scrub it because it's still got quite a ways to go. This whole process, it's hard to say how long it's going to take. Just have to see how it goes. Like I say, I'll take this out tomorrow scrub it up and see where we're at and probably have to put it back in for a couple of more days 
but so far so good and you can see some more bubbles there fizzing away this has been soaking for about 48 hours now and as you can see there's quite a bit of rust in the vinegar solution I'm going to take it out and give it a good scrub and see where we're at Oops, a little condensation on my lid now this is just vinegar so it's perfectly safe to just reach in and grab things that doesn't look too bad I'm going to scrub this off and I'll be back and we'll see where we're at all right, I scrubbed this off with a steel stainless steel scouring pad, and a lot of that rust came right off. Something you'll notice, though, when you soak things in vinegar, you'll get quite a lot of black residue. That's black iron oxide, mostly. And it can be kind of tough to get it off. It takes a bit of doing to wash it. A stiff, bristled nylon brush and dish soap seems to work the best for doing that. Just drip some dish soap on it and scrub it with a brush and I'm gonna go do that and we'll see what we end up with looks like there's a little bit of rust left on the inside but other than that this really came clean nice so I'm gonna scrub her up a little more and I'll be right back okay I've scrubbed this off good got most of the residue well, pretty much all of it I think off of there you see there's a little bit of flash rust that came back from being wet but that'll come off when I season it so I'm going to season this up quick and a couple little spots of rust right there I'll hit those again with a scouring pad and they should come right off something else that works really good for getting that black residue off your pot and off your hands when you're done is a scotch bright pad so I'm going to throw this in the oven get it all seasoned up and I'll show you how this turns out I took a stainless scrubber and knocked the last few little flakes of rust off of this and gave it one more good scrubbing before I seasoned it. I seasoned her up and didn't that turn out nice? Especially compared to how rusty and nasty it was before. You can use a vinegar bath on just about any ferrous metal, iron or steel, but if it's a highly polished surface it will etch the surface. It will roughen it up a bit and it won't be polished anymore. But, I'm going to use that ability of vinegar in a later video to re-etch the surface of a skillet that's been polished and burnished with a wire brush and won't take seasoning. Other than that, that's about all you need to know about vinegar baths. When you're done with your solution, you can just dump it down the drain. It's harmless. It's not going to hurt to get on your skin. It burn a bit in your eyes, so I would avoid that and wear eye protection if you're splashing around in it but it's safe and environmentally friendly and you got no reason not to use it for removing rust if you have a pan that has a lot of buildup on it I recommend stripping the buildup off first with either lye or oven cleaner before you try and remove the rust because a lot of times there'll be rust underneath that buildup other than that that's all you really need to know about vinegar I'd like to thank my patrons on Patreon, Eileen Edge, Benedict Riggers, Kay's Kist, Damian Bamer, Dan Sturgill, Joy Jones, Leo, Randy Dorn, Sue Beck, Theodore Engelke, Tiarna Jenkins, Valentin Toman, and Rudy Valvano. I'm going to have a little bit of Bailey's Irish Cream today. Here's to you guys, and thank you much for your support.